So we've talked about uh, how the national media jabroni haircuts just never give the Vikings a time of day, right? And frankly, it's okay. It is what it is. You, you know what's coming. You understand their bias. And, and also, we like being an underdog. Like, it gets a little uncomfortable when they actually start talking uh, good about the Vikings in the national media, right? And it's like, when is the last time that uh, they actually talk positively? Like, 09, Brett Favre, sure. But sometimes... It, it, it just irks you just a little bit, even though it's very transparent, uh, the game that they're playing of constantly ignoring or debasing the Vikings and propping up the opposition, right? So uh, the most transparent was the Monday Night Football crew. Now, a lot of people have talked about, oh, this is really one-sided. You know, Steve Levy, Louis Riddick, who I like, as well as Bob Greasy, stupid kid. All, we're all like, ah, da bears. Da Bears, Da Bears, Da Bears, just jizzing all over themselves uh, like an elk during the rut uh, over the Bears defense. They even called Nick Foles elite. They did. How amazing is that? And it's like, we, we remarked last night, it's like, is this WGN? Like, is this ESPN 1000 Chicago? Like, what the hell is happening here? And then also, take a look at the ESPN homepage today. So, the only mention of the Vikings victory on ESPN's flagship television show, Monday Night Football, is about Nick Foles' injury. Which, uh, early reports are, that's pretty minor, even though it got carted off. Cool. But hey, it's really important that Bill Belichick's hoodie's uh, so hot right now. Just just, just great, right? So, the, you know, the media ignoring the Vikings, it's cool. But also, just active suppression and twisting of information is another thing. So, if you're uh, just a general football fan, not a Vikings fan, not a Bears fan, but you woke up in the morning, uh, grabbed your cup of coffee, took a look at ESPN.com. Oh, Belichick's hoodie. What happened on Monday night? Oh, Nick Foles got hurt. Oh, no. Oh, the Bears defense played great and had good special teams. Oh, no. How did they lose, though? Oh, no. Right? And also, you have Florio, you know, pro football talk with his standard backhanded passive-aggressive praise of Kirk Cousins. Who I, I still think that he only takes digs at Kirk Cousins because it annoys uh, Paul Allen and, you know, Florio and PA go way back like chiropractic, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, that level of passive aggressiveness, like, he could be an honorary Minnesotan. But I think the most egregious is from around the NFL. So this tweet uh, came out after the game. Despite stellar performances from the Bears' special teams and defense, Kirk Cousins got his first Monday night win as the Vikings prevailed 19-13. Here's what we learned via uh, Grant Gordon. All right, so, wow, 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 wow. Like, the the uh, obtuseness, like, either you're stupid or a liar. It's one of the two. So, just going in and just twisting what happened in that game to fit the narrative is like, oh, Kirk Cousins, you, you find the one in Monday Night Game. And uh, the Bears, uh, the special teams, and, and the defense played so well. I mean, I, if you turn on the TV... They're still talking about the Bears defense. Like, oh, Roquan Smith. Oh, Danny Trevatha. Oh, they're like the 85 Bears. Blah, 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 blah. Like, are you kidding me? That Bears defense, that vaunted top five Bears defense, gave up 385 yards to the Vikings total, uh, which is the third most that they have allowed this season. That vaunted Bears defense, that 85 Bears adjacent team, that, oh, is that William Dent? Is that, is it? Oh, is that Mike Singletary? Oh, oh no? Oh, that's Danny Trevathan? Sure. I mean, they gave up 286 yards passing to Kirk friggin' Cousins in their building on prime time. That was the second most that they've allowed this season. They haven't allowed a 300-yard passer yet. And also, two third-down touchdowns. And, and uh, like we highlighted earlier, Kirk uh, converted 7 of 11 third-downs passing, had a perfect quarterback rating on, on third down. Yeah, you tell me that. Yeah, you, talk about that. Yeah, you lost, bro. To Kirk Cousins, but still, every time you turn on ESPN or NFL Network, as like, oh well, the Bears defense. I mean, I, I don't know what happened. I mean, what happened? Uh, is it Matt Nagy? Is it, I mean, obviously it wasn't Nick Foles. Please, maybe it was the Vikings, huh? And also, by the way, the Vikings defense was the best defense on that field last night, straight up, no cap. And or was it the other team's defense that allowed only 149 total yards? Or was it the other team's defense that only allowed 10 first downs? Or the other team's defense only allowed six offensive points? Oh, by the way, the Bears had negative two yards of offense in the third quarter. So sure, uh, and it's disgusting, but it, it is absolutely nothing new. I mean, that's why you have new media. That's why you have channels like this rising up where you actually get facts. Even though we're pretty clear about our bias. 
but that's okay. You know, not just completely ignoring what actually happened in the game. It's like, oh, the Vikings didn't win. Oh, Kirk Cousins didn't have one of the best performances of his life. Oh, Dalvin Cook didn't almost grind out 100 yards uh, just through, through sheer attrition. Oh, it, it wasn't the Vikings defense that stepped up against, a, a, sure, a bad Bears offense, but they still stepped up. No, it, it was the Bears. Oh, they just gave up a couple plays, but oh, Cordero had the kick return. Ah, ah. Even though they held on that kick return, pretty clear, but it's, yeah, yeah. But again, we don't deal with alternative facts. We, we tell it how it is, and then we give our analysis. Yes, it is biased towards the Vikings, but we're very upfront and open about that. You know, unless uh, you, you still love the the hard hitting analysis of legacy media, just great. But I don't know. It, it annoys me. I'm sure it annoys you too. Um, but thank you for coming along. <laughs> that was a long ass monologue infomercial for hey, subscribe for daily Vikings takes. You know what to do. Skull, production value.